guys, Redbeard here. Uh, today I'm going to do a Ray Pope inspired shave. Stick with me here, don't go crazy now because I'm not crazy like him. I'm not wild like Ray Pope, but um, and let me piece it together a little bit earlier. Um, tonight I got home from work, had dinner, settled down, getting the kids settled down, and I watched Brian Wells uh, shave of the day, and he used, I can't remember what the cream was called, uh, it was a 1911, he was talking about the Poisson and how he was going to put it to the test to see if it could lather, get a good lather out of a really hard soap. Success, successfully he did that. Then um, he paired it with an aftershave called Tombstone. Then right after that I watched Ray Pope's video where Ray also used this tombstone aftershave, and they both just said how amazing it was. Uh, and, uh, and I gotta get my hands on that. I gotta, I gotta find some, try it out. But anyway, so today's head shave um, is gonna be inspired by Ray's video because Ray tried out the Phoenix for the first time, and he loved it. So here's how it's gonna go down. I have my. Uh, S-O-C is what I'm going to call it now. My S-O-C, um, Phoenix, cream today for Chicago. If you're going to do Ray Pope, you got to do it Chicago way. I don't have any personas. Uh, the best I have um, is a feather. And I love using a feather blade in my Phoenix on my head. And I'm going to try to do things a little bit um, different, I guess. I'm just a little bit different on my head shape today. I was telling you in my last video um, about the the grain on the top goes forward, sides go down, back goes down. And I was sh shaving and I was doing it against the grain, but I was just going backwards on my sides and then backwards on my head, which the head got... a clean smooth shave the first shave but my sides I had to go back up and clean up so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go up on the sides and back and then backwards on my head I'm gonna try to do a one pass shave today is basically what I'm getting at so um, that's it I've got a sink full of water here it's draining a little bit um, so I'll uh, Try to figure that out. I don't know why. I need to get a new stopper or something. Saving the bloom water. And I dig this smell. It's just, it. I think I said it when I first got it and first tried it, but it reminds me of like, I don't wanna say old people, but like my grandparents, like just a classic I don't know. I don't know. A classic smell, and I love it. I love it. So, load this up. Haven't decided if I'm going to do a uh, head lather or a bowl lather yet. Kind of still up in the air with that. A couple drops of water, though. Um, so anyway, if you haven't seen, uh, um, Ray or Brian's videos, check it out. I love, if you haven't seen Brian Wells' video, look them up, videos, look him up, subscribe to his page, because they're awesome. He doesn't, he, he'll do his shave of the day, but, uh, it's probably enough, right? He'll do his shave of the day, but he doesn't uh record it like like I'm doing right now he does stand by I made a decision I'm gonna lather in my build a lather in my bowl um he does his shave of the day, but he just reviews the products that he's used. And I think that's 
awesome. Because you get enough of us guys that are making videos of our shaves. Um, dripping. Uh, which is fine. You know, different, different perspectives, different guys, different whatever. But he just, I did my shave and I'm going to tell you what I thought of the cream. I'm going to tell you what I thought of the aftershave. I'm going to tell you what I thought of such and such brush. He's been using a, a Plasson lately and really putting it to, through the ringer. Seeing if it works on soft soaps, hard soaps, uh, a lot of water, a little water, whatever he's doing. He's putting the the Plasson to the test and from what he's saying, it's passing all the tests. So that's good. Um, but anyway, if you haven't seen his videos, um, check him out because he does a good job and he's got a killer mustache. So, check them out. Anyway, okay, so, hot water. Oh, that was really hot water. It's my pre-shave. I'm still, I want to get that, um, I think it's a Phoenix PAA that does an ice. Is that what it's called? I want to get some aftershave, um, some of those aftershave bars. And that Phoenix one is really one that I want to try. So, if anyone has one and they don't want it, um, you got a bald guy right here that, that wouldn't mind it at all. So my, my lather for this is not as good. I don't want to say not as good. Um, it's different with this than it is the Plasson than it is with the Badger. Um, I think the boar hairbrush is holding a lot more of the soap within itself if that makes sense so it's almost like yeah it would have been a better idea to just do a head lather which learning experience right but this smog 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 soc this is a freaking amazing brush guys um so you don't have one get one try it out it's better than these garbage badger brushes that that i've gotten from the beauty store um i mean look at that lather it's just awesome which all all of my razor rocks are i'm a razor rock addict fanatic not an addict I just want all of my soaps to be razor rock. That's not an addiction. It's totally normal. I love razor rocks. Performance, the smells hit and miss with as with everybody, but the performance can't go wrong with it. I don't think against the grain, sides, back, and then no, backwards on the top, but up on the sides and up on the back. Um, and you always, I always talk about it. You get those trails, with the Phoenix that makes you want to go over it a couple extra times, which is awesome. So anyway, Brian Wells, I'm all over the place tonight. I'm sorry. Brian Wells, check his videos out. If you haven't, look at him because uh, he does a good job. And I like that he doesn't, I told him this, but I like that he doesn't do his shaves. He just does a product. He has his own time. And then he um, just reviews what he used. So... My only, Ray had just a stellar review about this Phoenix, which was spot on. Amazing, amazing, amazing razor. If you don't have one, anyone that asks me about getting a razor, I always, or getting a Phoenix, I always tell them yes. Um, the only problem that I have, personal preference, not a fault of the razor, 
is it's just so small in my hand. I mean, when I'm holding it, but this, the handle's interchangeable. So it's not, it's not like it can't be fixed. I've got um, other handles. If you've got a three piece razor, you can put it on this. You can put the handle on this razor. So don't, don't think because you get this, you're stuck with a small handle. I mean, I mean it's a great handle, but I just have big hands. So it doesn't fit in my hand as well as some of my longer handles. Anyway. This uh, this one pass Phoenix test is going pretty well. Not gonna lie. You guys ever seen that show Vikings? It's on History Channel, A and E, History Channel. It's amazing, and I think the new season starts on the nineteenth of this month. You should check it out. It's about these Vikings. Specifically, the the main guy's name is Ragnar. Ragnar Loth Lothbrook, I believe. And he's freaking bad. This dud. Check it out. If you don't like it, whatever. I do, so. This is a good razor, guys. My one pass shave is almost done. Although I might, um, to tidy up this back a little bit. I don't know yet. Okay, so this, this um, for Chicago, still, still left my head um, smooth, not smoother, slicker than some of my other soaps. Um, touch up time, gotta do it. I don't know if that's, it's not the razor's fault, it's just my, my fault. And these sides, I can never, well, this one's okay, okay. Could be better. We're just gonna tidy this up a little bit against the grain one more time. And then I'm gonna do the same on this other side. And then that will be it. So I mean, the Phoenix guys, it's an awesome razor. If you don't have it and you're into DEs, try it out. Like I said, uh, well, with any razor, if you don't like it, you can always sell it. Somebody is going to be interested in, there's always, always, always going to be somebody interested in the product you have. And if you don't get any interest, you know, you see the, uh, the enablers page on Facebook. And it's like, I'll see some people post things and then they're like, posting this again um my thought with that is the right people didn't see it the first time you know i mean 
because I've seen some things. I've seen some things on there and it's like, somebody's like, hey, I'm still trying to sell this. And it's been like three days, four days, and I didn't even see it the first couple days. So don't get discouraged if you're selling stuff on there and you don't get a, you don't get a reply right away. So, um, keep trying. That's a good, uh, one pass shave. I think it's good enough for tonight. I'm, it's been a long couple days for me and I'm not too, uh, I'm not, I'm not going for perfection tonight. I'm just going for a good shave and then, uh, going to bed. So, um, tomorrow, it's Friday. Yeah. Tomorrow will be a better shave. Three pass. I'm sure. Or not three pass. One, two, I don't know. More passes than one. Um, my boss saw my beard today, this morning, and he didn't say anything. So I think I'm in the clear as far as keeping it. Check this out. See how it comes here? And then it's like, this is the red part and this is brown. That's gonna be bad if I, TSE told me I should grow Fu Manchu and it, the hair follows. You can see it sticking out a little bit right there. So I might have to wax this down and just see how it goes when we do the big shave in October. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, tell your friends, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, tell your friends to subscribe. I was going to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers. I hit 100, went up to 102, then went back down to 99. I guess apparently people, um, Christopher Peace must have sent his spies in or something. Um, but he's a jerk. So, uh, I still need a couple more subscribers and I'm going to do a big giveaway. Not a big giveaway. I'm going to give, I'm going to do a giveaway. So, uh, let your friends know, subscribe. Thanks for watching and we will catch you tomorrow. Take care.